So, this is the video I didn't think I was going to make. My mixing hot end part 13. I guess 13 was an omen. So, we've had a few problems, as expected, really. Um, problem number one, I had a leak on the, on the water pipes. I had this kind of arrangement. Basically, this is some uh, piece of rigid tubing or semi-rigid PTFE tubing or whatever um, and then flexible hose and um, that's about 8mm OD and this is 8mm ID or maybe 6 can't remember so it wasn't a tight fit and I kind of thought well if I put a cable tie around it that will be fine silly me cable ties don't make a circle doesn't matter how, how, how you tighten them, you always get that kind of arrangement. I knew that. Why did I think it was going to work? Anyway, I, um, I found some 4mm ID tubing, uh, which I managed to stretch over the 6mm OD pipe. Sort of like that, I'll show you on the, on the printer. There we go. It ain't pretty, but it kind of worked. It'll do for now until I buy some proper clips and maybe get some proper size tubing. So that was probably problem number one, which was an easy fix. Problem number two is I uh, got a heater fault intermittently. Um, I've tracked it down, it's something to do, it's the thermistor or it's the thermistor wiring um, as it comes out of the hot end or that extension cable. Um, good old E3D, I don't know why they make their cartridges with a little short bit and then a connector. Um, so it could be that connector or it could be the cartridge itself, but either way, you need to take the hot end off, take it apart and change the thermistor. Uh, so that was problem number two. Problem number three, uh, very strange. Uh, problem number three and four, I guess. Um, I put it all together, put my big fat nozzle on it, um, extruded loads of filament from all five of, all six of the extruders, all worked to train. Um, then when I come to print something, strange things were happening. I had the heater fault for one thing. But another thought I had was the extruder drive zero has lost um, half its torque, it seems. Um, it's as if it's lost one pair of coils. Could be the wiring, could be the motor, could be the driver. Don't know, need to investigate. Um, problem number, th well, if that was three, then problem number four is extruder drive number five. Uh, stop working altogether. So I can send an extrude or retract command to it. Doesn't move. Doesn't do anything. Again, could be wiring, could be motor, could be driver. Need to investigate that. But the cooling system worked fine once I fixed that stupid uh, piping thing that I did. Um, so no leaks on that. And um, I can jiggle the thermistor wire around and find a position where it uh, works so I can actually get it hot. Um, and as I say, I extruded lots of filament. Played around with the machine quite a lot with the hot end heated. And then I have managed to retract most of the filament because I've got to retract it all to take the hot end off again to fix the, the mister problem. And I can see, because I, I use clear Bowden tube in PTFE, and I can see that the, the ends of some of the filaments have indeed swollen. Um, because they've been sitting there for hours at print temperature. But it, the, I didn't have any problem retracting the filament. So I think my I think my decision to use PTFE liners on this mixing hot end is the right one. So you, you can never prevent heat, keep, heat creep through the filament itself. PLA will swell because it's got such a low glass transition temperature. Um, and it will block an all-metal hot end. 
but it appears that using the PTFE liner um, it doesn't really matter that it swells you can still pull it out and push it back in so that was um, that's a positive and the cooling system works that's a positive I don't know if the mixing chamber does anything I haven't got that far still because there's one other problem which I kind of thought it would happen um, and it appears that I have got a leak around at least one of the heat break tubes um, I'll see if I can do a close-up of that and show you so just in there um, see how close I can get you can see there's a, a blob of white plastic that's oozed out so as far as I can tell it's just that one um, tube that's leaked but that's obviously one too many um, and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do about that at the moment maybe make some threaded heat breaks somehow but then how the hell do I tighten them um, maybe some high temperature thread lock um, don't know at the moment don't know plan um, plan 14 I think the other thing I'm thinking of doing, um, I haven't been out of print anything for months because I haven't had a working hot end. Um, so I might make or buy uh, a simple single input hot end, the sort of thing that most sane people use, um, and graph that on the machine just so that I got something that I can print with. So another rethink. Um, so further updates on the mixing hot end will be some time but i got one or two other little things i uh, want to do to the machine itself um, which i'll perhaps get on with while i'm scratching my head and deciding what to do next thanks so um, by way of a last minute update uh, we've got the hot end off now so here's a close-up picture showing the leak around that heat break uh, it was just that one, although there might be a little bit of ooze from one or two of the others. But the rest of it is fine. Um, no leaks anywhere in any of the plates that make up the mixing chamber or anywhere else. Everything's uh, quite uh, quite well sealed. I'm quite pleased about that. I've investigated the uh, various other faults as well. The um, thermistor fault was indeed the thermistor itself, or at least I hung another thermistor on the end of the wire and um, it's fine I can waggle it around and it's fine so uh, I think it's the thermistor itself I've got to change and two extruder motor faults uh, one is definitely a motor which is uh, odd that's about the third extruder motor failure I've had since I've been using Duet 3 I don't know whether there's anything significant there whether well, it's just a duff batch of extruder motors or something um, anyway it is what it is i'll have to get a new motor for that and the other one was just the connector was badly seated i got these um the motors where the wires go on a connector onto the stepper rather than being sort of hardwired um I reseated the connector and that seems to work fine now and finally here's a few pictures of uh, of my six input mixing hot end next to um a diamond five color so in both cases they're complete assemblies with their mounts and cooling solutions uh, and the five color of course doesn't mix either so i'm fairly pleased that i've got six inputs um, and hopefully um, they'll actually mix versus the uh, diamond that's only got five inputs and doesn't mix